a very, very difficult uh, result to take. Unlike last week, uh, where the performance was absolutely terrible, the overall team performance today was actually pretty good. Um, that might be hard to believe, considering the scoreline was 3-0. But if you watch the game, we actually played with tempo, we played with pace, with a desire that we didn't show against Brighton. And we did have quite a bit of unluckiness. Of course, we were lucky to uh, not have given away a penalty, but... It's individual errors that cost us in this game. And that's that's the same a lot of the time under uh, Jose Mourinho. Individual errors do cost us. Mourinho is at fault for a lot of stuff. I'm, I'm not going to deny it, OK? I'm, I'm firmly Mourinho in, and I, I, I haven't changed that. But this game, I can't understand how anyone can blame Mourinho for this game. I don't think he did anything wrong at all. I, I don't. I think the subs he brought on were um, understandable. Yeah, people will say, oh, Fellaini, blah, blah, blah. You could have brought on Rashford, fair enough. But, um, you know, Jones, I think, had a strain and he was playing absolutely shit. I know Lindelof did shit as well when he came on. But, you know, he, he had to make that change. And then Alexis coming on. Matic couldn't play the full game. He could only play 60 minutes. So that's why Fellaini was brought on instead of Rashford to keep some sort of shape because we did have a lot of... Um, well, players that were playing in advanced positions uh, by the end of the game. But yeah, we started off really, really well. And that's that's what's disappointing me. Like Fred and Lingard caused absolute havoc with their, their runs, etc. We just couldn't really form too many really, really good chances. Like we were always like one touch away or one shot away. Lukaku obviously missed a really, really uh, big sitter in the first half. It's very... Very unfortunate. I love Lukaku as a player, but yeah, he has to be scoring that. There was also one against Brighton when it was nil nil. He missed. It could have been a different story, but um, yeah, like if if we went one nil up there with the way we were playing, we could have got a second, a third. Like we were playing really, really well. Uh, Luke Shaw definitely our best player this game. That was. I feel so bad for him because that's probably his best performance that he's delivered for Manchester United. Attackingly was solid, defensively was great, was taking on players, his passing was exquisite. It was just a difficult result to take. Um, like The first goal comes uh, early into the second half, uh, Harry Kane with a, a really, really phenomenal header. I mean, he's world class. He's certainly top three strikers in the world. For me, the best striker in the world. But yeah, he takes his chance, it's 1-0, and shortly after that, it's um, the terrible error. Oh, <laughs> is it Jones this time? Is it smaller? I think it's Jones, isn't it? Ah, uh, I, uh, uh, I don't know. One of them, it, you take your pick. Um, and yeah, uh, Lucas Moura manages to, to get the second in. Actually, I think it, it's not a defensive error this time. Sorry, my bad. Um, it's a wonderful cross from Ericsson, and uh, Lucas Moura is there to, uh, well, essentially just put it into the bottom left. Uh, obviously, in the first half, uh, Spurs should have had a penalty. I'm not going to deny that. Uh, Jones with, you know, well, another bad tackle. <sighs> the worst thing about this game was the performance of Toby Alderweireld. He was absolutely phenomenal. Like, dropped a solid 8 or 9 out of 10 for Spurs. And he should have been a Manchester United player. There was nothing other than the board preventing him from being a Manchester United player. Spurs were open to sell. Even Daniel Levy, a tough negotiator, if we paid what he wanted, which was 55, 60 million, Alderweireld would be in a Manchester United shirt right now. He wanted the move. Mourinho wanted the move for him. I said I wouldn't go on about transfers last week, but when you see just all these defensive errors and then you see the player that you should have signed putting a performance like that for the, the team that he should have left in the summer and he would have left in the summer if we paid up the money it, it's just hard not to bring it up he was absolutely phenomenal he stopped a lot of attacks particularly in the second half from Alexis from Lukaku from Lingard from Fred I felt sorry for Fred as well he actually had a really good game as well he's more of an attacking minded midfielder defensively he needs a little bit of work um, but he created a few good chances as well but obviously in a 3-0 scenario you, you, you can't really do anything. I think uh, Lloris made a really good save as well. Uh, was it was it Lingard or Pogba? I, I can't remember. All these chances are just coming back. But yeah, Lloris made a really good save. There was a couple of short crosses that were like inches away from either Lukaku or Lingard getting on it. And another day, they'd have got on the end of them and would have scored. But for whatever reason, it this this performance, 
like the the unluckiness of it because overall it, maybe you can say yeah we could have lost that but certainly not by three goals like we did not deserve to lose that by three goals um but fair play to spurs you know they took the chances and uh, that's what happens in football at the end of the day but this couldn't have came at a worse time because of how bad we were against brighton we needed to bounce back and the performance was there to bounce back it just didn't happen so the the result this came at the exact worst possibility late. What I'm trying to say, you only lose that game 3-0 once every 500 games. Like, when you're playing like that. And, unfortunately, it came directly after the Brighton game. It's hard to put into words. Some of you might not understand what I'm trying to say. But, yeah. Um, the third goal, anyway, for Spurs. Uh, to It's, well, Smalling making an error here. Uh, Lucas Mora bursts past him and then slots it in again. So he scored two, Kane scored one. Uh, I did put on Twitter though, and I, I'm going to reiterate it in this video. Like, <laughs> I know, um, obviously, rivals banner and all that. And uh, yeah, like, <laughs> when I go to work, when I go to like, pubs or whatever, I'm still going to be. Well, I, was, <laughs> I can't fucking wear my kit at work. What I'm saying, obviously, people will be ripping the piss, etc., blah, blah, blah. But um, like, particularly in pubs, I'm still going to be wearing the, the Man United like jersey. I'm not going to stop wearing it or you know i'm not gonna go into a hole just because we've lost like i, I love this club I, I love it i'm gonna try and go to games uh because i can afford it i think this season even if i've got to go alone like literally win draw lose it doesn't matter to me i love manchester united so I, i'm just not gonna stop supporting them so i'll still be wearing this uh, as often as i can despite whatever horrendous season we're probably going to have because it, it seems that way, like, no matter what, I, I know I've said the performance was actually all right today, and it was, um, but it just, it, it seems as though it's going to be one of those seasons, regardless of what happens, obviously there's players' futures in doubt, uh, with Martial, with Pogba, Mourinho's futures in doubt, um, the, the board... Well, we've known that for years. Uh, the fans, obviously, the toxicity, toxicity, the, you know what I mean? It's very toxic amongst uh, amongst the fans. There's Martial in, Martial out, Jose in, Jose out. Um, yeah, it's just a, a really really bad time. If it feels like being an Arsenal fan, I think uh, at the minute, which isn't great. So yeah, let let's just hope we can get three points against Burnley. We're six points behind Chelsea, Spurs. Uh, I, I was going to say City, but we're, we're only uh, four behind them. And uh, obviously Liverpool were six points behind as well. Arsenal were the long points with them. So, uh, yeah, we just need to turn this around. We need something to happen, man. Like The most likely result is obviously Mourinho leaving sometime this season. Um, but I'm hoping, I'm really hoping he just manages to get a little bit of luck in his favour. Because this game, he deserved it. He deserved a little bit of luck. Uh, credit to the singing section in uh, Old Trafford as well. Uh, despite being 3-0 down, chanting Mourinho's name uh, at the end of the game, and he stood there and clapped them for two, three minutes. It's good to see like you know, a bit of backing for the manager, because although he, he does uh, cut a forlorn figure a lot of the time, you know, it, it, it's good that people are backing him, because he, he'll see that and it'll probably give him confidence inside, despite whatever persona he shows in the media or to... Everyone, but uh, I know I'm waffling. I'm saying a lot of shit that, you know. <laughs> ah, it's just so hard to take. 3-0, it really is. And all I can say is we hope, hope, I just hope that the season gets better and doesn't fall into disarray.